Hello everybody and welcome back to Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode. So last episode we fought a Hallowed Mimic and I also ended up getting my hands on a hard frozen turtle shell or turtle shell not turtled <laughs> and I didn't know what this did. Um, I actually thought it was a 1.3 item apparently it's been around earlier than that but what it does is when you're below 50% health it reduces your damage taken by 25%. So that's pretty damn significant considering the Worm Scarf does overall uh, damage reduction by 17%. So another 25%, that brings you up to 30, uh, uh, 32% damage reduction for, wait, no, it'd be 42% damage reduction, sorry, for uh, when you're under 50% health, which is massive. Um, as you may have seen in the inventory, I do have some plans for today. Uh, to start, I found a... A skeleton merchant, yes, and it was selling a wild yo-yo glove. So I went ahead and made a white string, and we already had counterweights, but I picked up a green counterweight while I was there because it didn't seem like necessary to have any specific one, and it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Uh, but we're going to make the yo-yo bag. And what that does is it makes it so we could use two yo-yos at a time. Uh, and if I remember correctly, also it uses uh, two counterweights instead of one counterweight. And makes it, uh, which one should we switch? Let's switch that. And it makes it so, uh, apparently there's no counterweights. Oh, there's a counterweight. And it makes it so that, obviously, because it's using a white string, uh, your throw range is further. So that's pretty damn good. Uh, and the, actually, what I should have done while I was over here is the other part of what we're doing today. And that is, I got a handful of Soul of Light, 75 of them. And we're going to be using these to make five keys because the... Hallowed Mimic has an item I want. It is, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like the di the don't, uh, fuck, I didn't write it down. It's something Stormbow, and it's pretty good. Um, I got it back when I did the Terraria 1.3 live stream, and it is a fantastic item. So it'd be nice to grab that. So we're going to try five different uh, Hallowed Mimics, see if we could do that. Depending on how long this takes, uh, I also want to maybe do some... Queen bee fights and other just random boss spawners that we have. Uh, let's grab five of these chests here. And uh, what else do we need? And oh yes, and what else I would like to do is possibly some fishing because I do want to get the crystal... Fuck, I have it written down. Oh, the crystal serpent. And possibly there's a corrupt fish thing weapon that you could get as well. Now, I do have a lot of potions on me that I don't necessarily need for this fight, so we don't need... And I'm using the wrong chest. Don't need that. Oh, I did have some... I just picked up these healing potions. Uh, sorry, mana potions. Uh, don't really need Night Owl or Hunter, but I will take them. Heart Reach is going to be useful. I don't need to waste Spelunker potions. And that's basically everything. Uh, so, let's get started with trying to kill some Hallowed Mimics. Uh, before I start, I am going to grab a couple pieces of dirt from just down in this hole, actually. Let's, oh, stupid, here, let's turn Shine Potion on, and we're going to light up this, I guess, area a little. I have a plan for an arena. Now, I usually put a lot of stupid amount of effort in making a really good arena, but I kind of have a different plan where it's going to be a little bit more simplistic, but it's going to look hopefully pretty cool. I just don't really know exactly which blocks I want to use yet. Uh, I'm kind of thinking, I, I don't really want to give away the idea yet. Uh, but I want to use maybe, uh, corrupt hallowed blocks. Actually, shit, I'm going to need wood to block this off. So I was just going to cover it in dirt, but dirt's not going to work because then it could spread. What is with this? What's that? Oh, just nothing apparently. Yeah, you guys can go away. Oh, and there's all these mobs. Here, fall into the hole. Oh, you could jump. Uh, okay, so we're going to cover this with wood. That way the... Uh, corruption that will, or the hallowed sword that comes up this way eventually won't spread. And actually, I should do a check on that. Over here, I won't know for a long time because the corruption is going to take a while. But it, oh, it is spreading. Son of a bitch. Huh. Okay, I got to go fix that now. Sorry. I was not expecting that to be spreading across that. I guess I should check the jungle as well. Oh, that destroys my plans. Actually, you know what? I will be right back. I'm going to fix that and then check out the jungle and then get on with this. 
All right, so there we go. I got it all fixed up now. I was actually not expecting that to be a problem. Uh, so before we get started, we're going to go ahead and hit a couple things. So I want an extra minion. Uh, I don't... Actually, I'm going to be using the yo-yo, so the grindstone's going to help. Magic, that's going to help. And I want to hit this ammo box here as well. That way I'm using less ammo when I do decide to switch to my bow. Uh, so we are ready to go fight off a whole bunch of corrupt mimics. Uh, sorry, uh, hallowed mimics. And it's almost daytime too, which is nice. So that's less monsters. Hey, come here. Hey, that actually worked pretty good. How about you? Yeah, it does pretty good. And I have counterweights and an extra yo-yo just flying around. That is definitely going to help uh, keep monsters off my back. Yeah, you know what? That might not be too bad. Okay, so we got a chest. And then we got to throw one key in. And away. And it's not spawned yet. Let's, uh... Yeah. Get it. There we go. Oh, 400 blue slimes. Okay, so we need... One, two. I was not expecting that to trigger it. Whoops. Uh, is there any other... I do have the items on that I want on. Good. All right, and then what uh, helmet are we using? I wasn't exactly planning this. Uh, let's switch to extra defense. This time I'm actually going to switch to defense. Last time, uh, two episodes I said that, and I uh, put on the wrong helmet. All right, now am I using... I'm not using this. Uh, let's use... I don't know which one. I should have planned that after, uh, beforehand. Okay. Let's use this. I'm actually surprised this does, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? The frost something debuff. I forget exactly what it's called. Let's use buffs as well. Uh, but fire, it doesn't catch on fire, but apparently it does catch on this, whatever that's called. I forget what it's called, but I don't actually seem to be getting as many hits as I want. With this, I could get a shit ton of hits. Oh, shit. It'd be nice if on my first... Here, let's use mana potions. It'd be nice if on my first kill, I get the storm bow. Dodge. Okay, we got this. It'd be nice if I had... Uh, oh, I forget what it's called. The magic flower? Because then, obviously, I'd be using my mana potions automatically. I wouldn't have to wait for everything to stop completely. Sadly, using these potions also are giving me potion sickness. Uh, I think it's the potion sickness. Uh, ma uh, mana sickness, sorry. Which is making it so I do less damage overall. Which obviously sucks. But there's not much I could do about that. Other than switch to a different weapon, but I do like the rapid fire damage that I'm able to do with this. Oh, stupid slime. Dodge. Okay. Oh, I love that that hole's now covered up. I don't have to worry about uh, anything falling down. Okay, health? Oh, I can't use health. Why can't I use health? Oh, I just did. <laughs> hey, this actually might not be a bad idea. What happens if I stomp you? Oh, doesn't work. Or at least it didn't that one time, and I, it does way too much damage for it to be worth attempting over and over. Oh, you stupid. Okay, got this. Stupid, avoid it. Avoid it. If I could hit the damn thing. There we go. Oh, I, hey, we got it! Yes! Awesome, awesome. And it's godly. That is nice. Um, where is it? Where is it? Okay, so it's the Data, uh, Daedalus Stormbow. Uh, does 56 range damage. That's not even with the... Stupid slime. That's not even with the proper helmet. Uh, and what it does... And I'm going to grab a bunch of different arrows to show you. And another thing that I found out in 1.3 that was updated that I never knew. Uh, let's grab... Do I have Hellfire arrows on me? Where are they? I know I got some. Wait. Did I throw them out for some reason? Or maybe sold them? See, they look pretty much like normal arrows. Oh, Hellfire. There we go. Uh, so we're going to put that there. This could go in here. Uh, and what did I need? The helmet to see what kind of damage it does. So that should be in this messy chest I got here full of random crap. Uh, so we're using Adamantite. So I want this. 
and I don't have room for an extra. Uh, let's throw that like that. Uh, so this is going to give us 25% chance not to use ammo, which is going to be nice because this goes through ammo uh, like any other bow pretty much. Even though it shoots three arrows, uh, it will, you know, go through them quickly, mostly because uh, I guess that also would go through them just as quickly, but it shoots damn fast. Uh, but each three arrows only counts as one. But it also gives us 14% ranged damage uh, and 8% range critical. So that brings us up to 63 damage, which is pretty significant. And what it does is it rains down fiery arrows. Now it's not accurate, but you know, it's shooting so fast that it's just, it does good coverage. And one thing that's really nice compared to a lot of other bows uh, that are kind of specialty bows is no matter what ammo you use, it actually uses that type of ammo. Uh, some things like the pulse bow change whatever ammo you're using and you lose the ability to use it special. Uh, so if I want Jester arrows raining down, it'll shoot down Firework arrows all over the place, which is pretty cool. Uh, and if we want Unholy arrows, I actually don't think Unholy arrows do anything special. I'm pretty sure they just uh, are higher damaged. But Hellfire arrows is what I want because in 1.3, they made it so Hellfire arrows no longer hurt you. So you get damage like that. Uh, if I remember correctly, the way Hellfire arrows work is you get damage done from the arrow hitting and damage done from the explosion. Now, I can't really tell because there's a lot of hit markers going on, especially when they're on fire. Uh, but the ability to shoot without hurting myself with explosives is fantastic. So, let's try this. I'm going to need a shit ton of these. But luckily, one Hellstone bar makes uh, 100 arrows. So, you know, it's not that hard to keep up with. Hey, can you fuck off? Okay, let's throw this and get the hell out. And where's my bow? There's my bow. So the real problem with this is there's a bit of a delay on when you shoot and when it actually hits. Uh, so you have to kind of plan where your enemy's gonna be. But as you can see, it's doing some pretty significant amount of damage. Now I wonder when it's, oh, I thought it stopped shooting for a second. I wonder uh, when it's in its special form where it's all protected where the arrows reflect off at but yeah ah, shit that's doing oh it goes directly at me son of a bitch i figure that it came in the direction that it was uh fired at it from yeah this is something that's going to take a bit of work to get the accuracy down pat on oh come on yeah they do damage when they hit me oh shit i'm gonna i might actually die here here i just like the fact that it's not gonna hurt me how much time oh i have 38 seconds to not die i have to keep an eye on what form it's in oh shit oh shit i need i need hearts okay so this this bow with these arrows i think are going to be very good when we end up with a pirate invasion or the clips Oh shit, because uh, it's obviously going to make it so I could hit a bazillion targets all at the same time. Ouch, stupid slime. Yes, there we go. Yeah, not bad. I wonder how many arrows we've burned through. It's not going into its uh, protected phase. Hey, look at this. So, the Vile Thorn is a very nice weapon to have because it shoots through walls. I'm actually surprised that didn't kill me. But it shoots through walls and it does multiple hits. Now, this is a Crystal Vile Shard. So, that's the upgraded version. And it's pretty good, it seems. This is another weapon I'm pretty sure I did end up getting in that one live stream. Now, it obviously doesn't do a whole shit ton of damage. If we switch that out, it does 24 but it gets a lot of hits very quickly. Uh, should I do another one? I basically already got what I needed. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. We're going to wait for my health to get back up, though. <sighs> okay. Health is... How many arrows did that use? That was like 150, almost 200 arrows. But again, it's not that hard to get them. Uh, so health is up. Away. Okay, so let's try a try this out. Ah, okay. Okay. So this is good against something like the Destroyer that has multiple pieces and you want to pierce through. Although, sadly, it doesn't do... 
a whole shit ton of damage. Oh, oh, get off. I'm a bitch. Yeah, no, this is not comparable to the Stormbow. Let's kill all these guys. I'm not using as, as much mana as I figure. It does uh, 12 mana per shot. Oh, the range on it's terrible, though. I don't like being that close. So, Stormbow. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else that it has that's particularly useful. At least not in comparison to this awesomeness. Oh, shit. No, stop. Crap. Yeah, I really don't like that it shoots them at me. <laughs> if anything kills me, that'll be it. And, obviously, because there is a bit of delay on when the arrows are coming down, uh, I, even if I stop shooting, it's going to continue doing what it does for a few seconds. Oh. Yes, there we go. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's just a fantastic weapon. Stop. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, these are tough. Oh, shit. But... You know, with the right weapons and armor, it's not bad. And you know what? We're not using magic anymore. There we go. I'm pretty sure this... Oh, come on. Stop going protected. I'm pretty sure this armor also makes it so my fire rate goes up. Because it sounded like it's shooting faster. Faster now than it was. Why is it always going protected? Last time it didn't go protected hardly ever. Oh, it's doing it again. Okay. Got this. Oh, it's doing it again. Maybe it's uh, based on range. How far away you get from it. Because obviously if... Uh, oh, shit. Obviously if you're further away, it's going to want to protect itself from range damage. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. See, these slimes are actually causing problems. Because they keep getting in the way of my shield. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. We got another new item. We got a forceful flying knife. How's this? So, it's like a boomerang, but kind of with a weird control scheme on it. It's hard to hit a single target. Holy crap. But it doesn't seem to have a time limit, which is nice. Oh, there we go. Hold it against the ground. And it just kind of goes on one spot. Uh, I don't know how useful that would be. 45 damage. Uh, if I had better um, headgear on, then it would be different, obviously. Huh. Okay. Well, that was already my plan for the whole episode. I figure it would take, like, five kills to do. So we're going to save these two keys for when we're a bit stronger and they're just easy as hell to kill. Uh, but we're going to go do a bit of fishing. That's basically the plan for the rest. Uh, so, let's do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Drop off all the crap. Uh, everything else could go in here. Here. I hate that this doesn't always work properly. Sometimes you have stuff that uh, could go in a chest, and it doesn't put it in a chest. Uh, okay, so this. Quick stack. Money away. Uh, I should. Oh, it's godly. Yeah, no. That's probably as good as I'm going to get without spending mass amounts of money. I wonder what it's worth. Yeah, it'd be a pretty expensive reforge. Uh, okay, so we need gold fishing rod. Uh, and we could take a lot of this master bait. Because we have a shit ton of it. Uh, and then... What else might I need? Fishing potions. Oh, that should be in this chest. Da -da 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 -da. Fishing. No, 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 no. I don't... Yeah, I guess sonar potions could be useful. And fishing there. And time to go to the Hallowed, which is just over here. Yeah, so overall, the Stormbow is fantastic. Um, now, I do know Holy Arrows. When you shoot a Holy Arrow, it shoots a star along with it. I'm pretty sure it's one star. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it might be multiples, because I don't really use it. Uh, but that might be a really good thing to use as well. Uh, but I, if I remember correctly, the way the Hellfire Arrows work is you get a hit... Uh, you get damage for the hit and then damage for the explosion. Plus, the explosion does multiple segments. So, like, against the destroyer, it's going to just massacre it. Uh, but I will try both arrows, see which one. Except that uh, the Hellfire arrows are easier to get. 
I don't know if they changed the conversion rate for 1.3 for the holy arrows, but they used to be, uh, I think, a pixie dust, a unicorn horn, and like 25 arrows to make 25 un uh, just holy arrows. But I may be wrong on the conversion there. And plus, it may have changed anyway in 1.3. So I'm hoping the crystal serpent is something I could get on the surface, because that's where I'm going to be fishing. Uh, okay, that's not where I wanted. Die. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, so, actually, I think my fishing hole is now... Okay, so it should be down this way. No, gotta go this way. I've been down this way a handful of times. Actually, shit, let's kill this. Yeah, it's not great underground compared to most other ranged. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, it does pretty good knockback. It's keeping the unicorn back, and they have pretty good uh, knockback resistance. Uh-oh, unless you run out of mana. Oh, yeah, forgot the whole mana thing. Get back. Give me your horn. There we go. Okay, so this should be down this... Nope. Stupid floaty bastards. Get out of here. Yes, it's down this one. Yeah, I think my fishing hole for my corrupt is... Oh, stupid. Is now hallowed. It should be. Oh, no. I'm in the wrong way. Yeah, because... Oh, I forgot. It's in the other hallowed. Or corruption, rather. Okay, so I need water. There's water. That works. That should be a more than adequate size fishing hole. Get out of here, you floaty bastards. Uh, so that's down. Not this one. Oh, get off. Let's go. I just want to do some fishing. Here? Yes. Oh. Okay. Potions. And I'm poisoned. Okay, let's get these guys killed. Holy shit. That's doing a lot of poison damage. Okay. Die! Oh, I'm out of mana. Use this. Die, die, die. Okay. So, we need fishing rod up here. Then he'll use my master bait. Let's go right here. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Specular fish. I wonder if we're going to get any crates. I could have took crate potions, but I don't really need crates. I need fish. Specular fish. Come on. Give me something good. I should have looked up to see if there's any specific part of the uh, hallowed that I need to do this in. But I think when I did look it up, Hey, Chaos Fish. I forget what that's used for. Uh, it's a potion. I just don't remember which potion. Bass. Not what I need. Prismite. Not what I need. That's also used for something that I do not remember. Princess Fish. Is that a... No, it's just a material. I thought that was a Quest Fish for a second. Wood crate. We will be opening up these crates when we're done here today. There's no reason to keep them anymore. I already have all the direct uh, uh, decoration crates I was looking for. I don't know why that word just flew out of my head. Specular. Come on. Give me something good. We're using the best gear that we probably could get. Princess. No. Although I could use some armored cave fish because they're used for endurance potions. Endurance potions are fantastic because that's 10% damage reduction. On top of our uh, up to 42% damage reduction. Wood crate? No. Actually, shit. With... I just thought with this, 17% uh, plus if we're under half, that 25% plus endurance potions, 10% plus iron skin giving us 8 defense plus uh, warmth potion giving us, uh, I think it's... 30 or 40 percent uh damage reduction against most monsters in the frost moon the frost moon shouldn't be that bad wow yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty uh low damage although with expert mode they're all gonna have shit tons of extra damage but still that's a lot of damage reduction <laughs> but that's pretty damn far in the future uh i forget which souls we need for that i think it's all three of the mechanical boss souls. 
Come on. Give me the serpent. Now, I don't know how good this is. Uh, from what I read, it is... Uh, it's like any of the other crystal staffs, like the ones that you get from di like, uh, diamond, ruby, sapphire, and all that. Um, except that it's like the hard mode equivalent of it. Plus, when it explodes, it does like what the crystal shards do with uh, crystal bullets and puts off a whole bunch of smaller particles. So it might be good, but I don't know how good if it's actually worth the time getting. But I'm going to get it and see. See, this pool might not be big enough. Um, there's a little pool here. That's not that big. Oh, uh, there's lots down here. I don't really want to go down there, but if it means better fishing, then we may as well try it. Okay, so that should be down this way. Not that one. Down this way. Down that. No, that's wrong. Oh, it's quite a bit further. <laughs> Wasn't even close. So this way, down, down. And this is the way I was going for getting all my uh, uh, Soul of Light. Er, if I could get the Medusa head. I saw what it did, and it's a pretty damn overpowered weapon. Uh, that's pretty good size fishing. Not what I wanted. Get, 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 get. Ah, that's doing hardly any damage. There we go. Hell, even this. That's pretty good. With uh, the Hellfire arrows. Okay, where's the fishing? Oh, that was it. There's one here. And there's a big one here. But this is all jaggedy. Uh, so to fix that. Have bomb fish. Let's blow this out. Make this slightly bigger. Get rid of that. And one, two, three, just drop a whole bunch. Oh, I don't want to blow that hole out. There we go. That should be a relatively good size. Buffs. Okay, we got stuff everywhere. Let's use this. My arrows are better than yours. Haha. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. That is some pretty significant damage. Much better than the fire and other shit arrows that I was using. Okay. Back to fishing. What are we going to get? Hopefully this is going to be a big enough size to make it, uh... Get it... Ah, uh, oh, shit. To get us what we want. There we go. It shouldn't be able to hit me. And that'll slowly get killed. Actually, if it jumps up here, it'll be able to hit me. But I don't know if it's going to be able to jump out of the water that high. Or if it'll jump out of the water at all. Prismite. No! Not what I want. Although we have... Oh, a gold carp. I want that because that's worth 10 gold. Not that I need money or anything. I already have a ton of them. You're going to be a problem. Come on. Give me the crystal serpent. Now that's going to drop down there. Ah. Now if I hit it. There we go. Yeah, explosive uh, hellfire arrows are fantastic. Definitely something I'm going to keep up with. Especially since underground. Um, oh, shit. I should have brought my hotline. Uh, no. High test fishing line. That way none of these break. Because chances are not with my luck. Uh, as soon as I see the crystal serpent, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to snap on me. That's just how my luck normally is. Princess. Not what I want. Not what I want. Give me it. Wood crate, didn't even get it. Chaos fish, not what I want. Armored cave, okay, we could drop. Pearl stone, don't need it. Dirt, don't need it. Mushroom, gel. I've got a pretty good amount of gel. There we go, it's a little bit of space for fish. Ah, you bastard skeleton archers over here. Chaos elemental. Actually, they're pretty easy to ignore. Especially when I'm propped up like this. They tend not to be able to get me. But he will. Actually, he might stop above me like the last one. In that case, he won't be able to hit me. Nope. Oh, shit. Yep. There you go. I'll ignore these guys. Because they're uh, just contributing to the max spawned 
uh, enemies number. And yeah, that just makes it so nothing else could really spawn. There. Wood crate. Don't need that. Specular fish. Princess. Ah, come on. Give me the damn thing. If I can't get it uh, by the end of this episode, then I will just get it off camera. But at least I attempted it on camera. Because this could still take me like an hour or two hours worth of fishing to be able to get it. With my luck, that's how long it will take. No. Come on. Iron. Oh, that would have been cool to get. At least they have something a little bit more useful. Oh, everything's breaking. Yep, yeah, another broken. Oh, that one didn't break. Finally. Prismite. Er. Give me it. Crystal Serpent. There we go. Okay, so where'd it go? Crystal Serpent, 44 magic damage. If we switch this over, 48 magic damage. Shoots an explosive crystal charge, uses 7 mana. Is it controllable? No. Although it is auto fire. And those particles, how much damage do they do? Pretty significant damage. Not bad. Will I use it? I don't know. Seems to go through mana relatively slowly. Uh, traveling merchant. Yes. Let's see if he has a gator leader for me. Where is he? Oh, I also built this shitty ass apartment building. <laughs> it's not the best apartment building I've ever built, but I decided to make it out of uh, dynasty wood materials. Uh, so yeah, that's my shitty apartment building for when I don't have enough homes. Okay, where'd he go? He is. No, no, no. There he is. Huh, he doesn't glow like these guys do. Uh, Mysterious Cape? Nah. Damn, I want the Gator later. Bastard. Okay, well, that's everything we got to, we had to do today. Uh, and we're also at time. So, that was actually pretty productive. Got a bunch of fish, which I'll just quick stack with all the other fish. Fish. Uh, so that could go, that could go, that could go. What other fish might we have here? We got 22 golden carp. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's, uh, two platinum? Yeah. And I also have all of this other shit I gotta sell off eventually. Um, oh, wood crates. Let's go ahead and open them. Oh, look at that. Nothing useful. <laughs> I already have hundreds of everything they just gave me. Oh, that was a lot of crates I opened. Uh, don't need, don't need, don't need. Just quick stack everything. And I'll do the rest afterwards and sell off the extra crap that we got, like this anchor. Uh, Selfish Boots already had those. Uh, so, next episode, I don't really know what the plan is. Uh, we already have good armor. Well, pretty much the best armor we could get our hands on. Uh, I don't really want to go for a boss just yet. I kind of want to do the pirate invasion first. I could go get a pirate map. Actually, what I should do is make a... Uh, goblin army and fight a goblin army because in 1.3 they made it so uh, Goblin armies have a new I think a couple of new monsters and Yeah, they have a weapon I want because it looks so evil and awesome So that's what we're gonna do next episode. I'm gonna go ahead and make one. I don't even know if I, if I have the materials for it um, I'm sure I have tattered cloth somewhere That would be in crafting, but I'll go ahead and get that made up. Yeah, I don't have enough I think I need ten Something like that. So I'll go get some and then get ready. And then, yeah, next episode is going to be a Goblin Invasion. So for now, that is going to be it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And I hope you all have a great day. See ya.